Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com and the 14th Q&A session. In this segment, I will attempt to solve various problems or questions that you guys might have in Ilias. If you have a question or an area that's not working out, please feel free to send the model to contact at 3ddesignacademy.com. Now in this particular session, a viewer asked me about building the visor for the Bell F1 helmet. So this is the helmet uh, or the visor in question. Well, this is the helmet and this is the visor as you can see over here. Now in the setup file, I do have a orthographic drawing, uh, I think which is based on a model, but I don't think this is an official model. It might be someone made the CAD based on the pictures uh, because I do see a little bit of differences uh, between them. However, it is an orthograph, it does have orthographic views, which is perfect for what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as a reference. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some curves. So let's go ahead and grab a two degree curve over here like this. And I'm just going to strike a curve over here. And let's go to the top. I'm just going to strike a curve from here to here. And this one, because it is going through the center, I'm just going to make it a degree three. And I'm just going to make sure the symmetric modeling is on. And let's go ahead and pull the CV over here like this and just to mimic the shape as much as possible. Now you can just do it roughly uh, because there are some adjustments that needs to be made. So I think that's good. And I'm just going to extend it a little bit over here. Uh, maybe that was a little bit too much. I'm just going to make sure that the shape is somewhat close. And I'm just going to strike a rail based on that. So I'm just, first of all, let's just go ahead and move it over here like this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can just angle it down so that it matches this one like that. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit better setup. So I'm just going to go over here like this and I'm just going to move, oops, I don't want to scale that. I'm just going to move the pivot over here. I'm just going to rotate it so that it matches the angle. Now, looks like the canvas from the side view and the top view is a little bit off. So I might have to, well, first of all, let me just extend it a little bit over here. So I might have to do a little bit of adjustment. So it looks like at the top view it matches, but if you look at the side view, I think it's a little bit off. Uh, so I'm going to have to probably make some adjustments there. So right now I think uh, I'm just going to have it roughly set up because I'm not sure if the outside location is correct. So I'm just going to just make, oops, no, I don't want that. Just going to adjust the CVs like this. I might need to increase the degrees um, on the surface, but let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to strike a rail. Uh, I'm just going to actually make the surface first. So I'm just going to make sure that this curve is located over here like this, and I'm just going to use a rail. So it's going to be parallel like this, and I'm going to pick this one first because otherwise you're going to get a span in the middle. So if I do this one first, you will see that uh, it's got extra span. I prefer to keep things simple. So I'm just going to strike the, uh, click this one first as a gen. And this is going to be the rail. Okay, so I think the location is pretty good. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to set up some curves for the projection. So first of all, let's make it a little bit larger like this. And I'm just going to strike some curves over here. And let's just go around and make the profile. Now you'll see a little bit crown over here, but if you actually look at the picture, it looks pretty straight. Now this could also be an aftermarket, so I'm not sure, but well, it's, I'm pretty sure it fits. So let's just go ahead and make it nice and straight over here like that. Let's just go around the entire profile and strike some curves like this. Okay, so next up, I'm going to project up, but before I do that though, uh, yeah, actually let's go ahead and project first. Now this area is a little bit off, but what I'm going to do is by projecting, I'm going to just see if it matches the shape. As you can see over here, it's a little bit off, which probably means I need to make sure that this one is good. Um, so I'm going to probably do some non-proportional scale on the CVs, but before I do that, I think uh, the top edge does need a little bit of refinement. So let's go ahead and do that first. 
So I'm just going to push it in a little bit. I do think that I pro uh, need a little bit more control. Okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, this definitely needs to go in a little bit. Okay, so let's do this. I think I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to, first of all, just copy this curves as a reference, as a backup. So I'm just going to say backup over here. And now I'm just going to make this into a degree five curve over here. Okay, make sure the symmetry modeling is on. And I'm just going to push it a little bit, this one a little bit over here. And I'm just going to push this one over here like this to get the shape as needed. So I think what's happening is I think there's a little bit more acceleration towards here. I think it's a flat, accelerate, uh, a little bit more uh, crown over here and a little bit flat over here. So we just want to make sure that uh, the shape fits. So I'm just going to push this one over here like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that this stayed at the center, which looks like it did. If there is a mismatch though, you probably want to match it too. Okay, so I think the top view, from the top view, I think, or the front view, I think it matches. Uh, no, not quite. So I'll probably just push this a little bit more. Notice that I'm going side to side only. Because otherwise, if you were to push this one over here, you will see that it starts to, well, yeah, uh, there will there will be a mismatch from the side view, so you just want to just go side side to side from the top view so that it doesn't uh, mess that up. And let's take a look. Okay, so I think the front of the front view it's I it looks a little bit better. Uh, it's not a perfect match, but at least from the top view I think it is. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Maybe a little bit more over here. You push this out a little bit more over here. And I think that's close. It's not 100% perfect, but I think it's uh, it's not too bad. So I'll say that's good enough. Okay, so the second thing I'm to do is uh, I got the top shape over here, but I have to do the same thing on the bottom. And as you can see over here, if you look at the projection curve, you'll see that this uh, needs to go in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this bottom edge over here. And actually, while I do that, let me just copy and paste this too as a backup. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a non-proportional scale on the curve. Just use a middle mouse number like this. And now I'm going to just align this one over here like this. Okay, so uh, right now I did uh, turn blending on, explicit control, uh, explicit control, well, that doesn't really matter. Position influence is set to max, extra series of one, and blend factor of one. The reason why I have the extra series of one is because right now it's a two degree. So um, yeah, that's what I have it. If you have a single degree surface, then you don't need to turn blending on. Now looking at this, I think that actually looks like a pretty good match um yeah i think that's actually matching quite well although i do think that it is a little bit asymmetrical which means that this side doesn't have a little feature down here so um that's going to make things a little bit uh a little bit more work but it's not too bad so let's go ahead and actually uh, extend these surfaces and trim everything out all right, so I'm just going to grab this one over here and just extend it because I'm pretty happy with the shape. And just in case, I'm just going to copy and paste and back it up over here. And let's go ahead and project all of these. Now, I am going to turn symmetry. Well, actually, for this one, maybe I don't need that. Okay, so let's do this. So uh, what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and trim. Uh, I do need to project this one over here. And I'm going to just project it normal like this, because if you project it from view, it's going to give you some weird lines over here. So in this case, I just want to do it normal like this. And I'm also going to project this one over here like that. And this one it will be view. Okay, so for a majority of this, I think I'm just going to uh, just make half and for this little feature over here, I'll probably just duplicate over the other side and do that separately. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, trim this out. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim over here. Actually, this one probably needs to be a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to say hide and select it. I'm just going to extend this one a little bit more inboard like that. And let's go ahead and trim. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And let's just make sure that the shape is good. And now uh, I'm pretty sure it needs a little bit of thickness. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset this. So I'm just going to say offset. I'm going to say NUV. Um, now I'm, uh, to be honest, I don't know what vector it is. Um, so I'm just going to keep it simple and just offset it and call it done. Okay. So for offset, I'm, uh, if it's a plastic piece, I'm pretty sure it's anywhere between like two and three mils. Although this looks a little bit thicker. So let's make it a little bit thicker than that. Uh, maybe three mils, maybe four mils. Let's try four. I think four looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just going to connect the dots. So uh, let's go ahead and grab a freeform gland. It's going to be a position on both sides. I'm just going to do something like that. Now there are going to be multi -span, uh, spans, so you just want to clean that up a little bit later. So let's just do one side and do this. Freeform blend over here like that. And I'm going to do one for this one. Okay, so uh, I only need to do one side, but for uh, surfaces that go through the center, I do usually prefer to just go through the center like this. Um, but these ones over here, I'm going to probably change it a little bit. Now, as far as the canvas goes, um, I did do this one on this side because if you look at the helmet, it's over here, but it looks like there actually isn't this. So I'll just chop that off uh, when I do the opposite side. Well, let's go ahead and keep going. All right, so back up. Why did I turn that on? All right, okay. However, there are multiple spans, so I'm going to try and reduce that. So let's go ahead and grab a line over here. I'm just going to make sure the position influence set to max. Uh, for this one, however, I'm going to turn blending off. I'm just going to just reduce the spans like this. Looks like that works. Do the same thing over here, and that looks pretty great. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing over here on the top. Just going to reduce the spans. That looks good. And this one looks good also. Okay, so now that's done. Let's go ahead and delete the construction history over here like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a fillet on all the edges. Okay, so for this one, uh, let's take a look. Oh, actually, I think this is this might be a different version. Uh, let's take a look. I don't need the backup. I no, they look similar, but that looks very different. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more flat. Oh, whatever. Maybe I got the wrong helmet, but it looks close enough. So I'll just proceed because at least uh, all the other features look pretty close. Oh yeah, yeah, if you look at that, um, that looks flat. So I don't, maybe it's just a different version, maybe, quite possibly. Okay, maybe I'll just use this as a refer, uh, main reference because I do think that this one does look closer to the actual canvas that I have. All right, so uh, let's um, just go ahead and put a fillet over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a surface fillet. It's going to be cord. It's going to be G2. And for the cord length, I'm going to try. Well, I'll start with one ten first because it is a helmet and it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to put that in. Of course, it looks like it needs to be a lot bigger. So let's try 30. And let's just take a look. I think that looks pretty close. So let's just go to a side view. Yeah, I think that's not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and just do the same thing all the way around. So I'm just going to do 30 over here. I think that looks good. And I'm going to do the same thing over here because if this is a surface fillet. It doesn't need to be next to each other for this one. Um, 
I think this one is a little bit off from the uh, from the canvas, but again, I do I don't think it's the same one. I don't think it's like a super. Uh, I don't think this data was actually created by uh, the people who actually created the helmet because it does look straight. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use it as is. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and put a surface fillet over here too. Okay, so I would say, uh, I mean, the location is a pre, uh, it's a little bit off, but at least the uh, fillet size looks pretty good. So I'm just going to put that over here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side, 30. That looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, it does look like there is a little fillet over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to, this one will be a little bit smaller. So I'll say five. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. Okay, so I got the edges. Um, now I do need to put this feature in, but I'll probably do that a little bit later. And before I proceed, let me just trim everything out. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the construction history over here and let's just reproject. So I'm just going to untrim over here and I'm going to just delete all the COS over here like this and I'm going to reproject. Uh, before I do that though, let's get rid of all those uh, curves over here like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the existing surface edge. Actually, depending on the situation, I might need to Actually, that looks pretty good. Okay, so maybe it's okay. Now, sometimes when you do a fillet, uh, it does create a little bit of an issue. There might be a little gap, but for this one, I think it's, looks, uh, it's looking pretty good. So I would say that's a pass. All right, so I'm just going to go all the way around and project all the cur uh, or the surface edges, including the fillet like this. And I'll just go ahead and trim. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make it, uh, make uh, just one side and I'll eventually duplicate it over. So I'm just going to project it like this and let's just create one half like that. Okay, so uh, and let's just make sure that it is positional though. Oh, okay, so this one fails, that one's okay, this one, oh, okay, so it does look like there is a little gap, which is fine, it just means that I have to repeat the process, but and instead of projecting, I do have to extend. Okay, so for these corners, I'm just going to go ahead and extend. Um, this one is okay. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to extend this one. This fillet over here. This fillet over here. You can also type a number. It just needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm just going to do that. And let's go ahead and intersect again. So I'm just going to grab this one, this one, this one, and this one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side for the inner part. So I'm just going to, actually, I am going to hide on select it because this one I do have to extend to, and I don't want to grab the COS over there. So I'm just going to say hide on select it, delete the COS over here, make it visible again. Let's actually hide the canvas for a little bit. I'm going to grab these ones over here. So let's do this. I'm going to just grab them. I'm going to say extend one mil. I'm going to grab the surface over here, intersect like this. And let's go ahead and trim. Oh, actually before I trim, I do have to project. So I'm going to grab all the surface edge like that. Over here, 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 and here. This was positional, so I'm just going to leave it like that. However, I'm going to make sure that it's set to normal, just because how round the surface is. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and project it from the top again, so I only have one half of the surface. Okay, so I'm just going to say project, make sure it's set to view, and that's good, and let's go ahead and trim. Okay, trim there. Oh, actually, I do need to trim those too. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm just going to trim over here, 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 and here. 
like that. Delete the construction history over here. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put some details in it. Now, I think that, uh, these holes are, that's what I'm going to put in. Uh, this one is on the inside, import side. Uh, so I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm just going to put those in and I'll just put these, uh, this one in. Now all these bolts and those things, I'm not going to do that because that's uh, usually not done with uh, Elias. Elias is usually just uh, responsible for the larger surfaces. So uh, let's go ahead and put those in. Um, actually, yeah, this one I'm not gonna put in. I'm just going to put this one in. So let's go ahead and create some curves. Now I do think that this is probably a, there's probably some kind of radius um, so if you want to, you can always use a key point curve. So there is a arc tool. So you can just hit like three points and that's going to adjust the arc. And of course you can adjust the radius too. Um, so if you go to a, a attribute and you can say length radius of, for in this case, it will be radius. So if you, if you say 50, of course it's going to change. So you can use that in order to do that. Well, I think 38 looks pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, uh, this one, however, on the bottom, actually, let me just change the angle a little bit like that. I think uh, probably an offset will work. So I'm just going to do an offset over here like this. And I'm just going to do that. Uh, it's a degree six curve, uh, which should be okay. I'm not sure. And now let's go ahead and create a curve for this one. Um, now, I'm not quite sure if this is supposed to be a perfect circle, in which case you can try to do this. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Elias will allow me to create a curve for this. Now, unfortunately, Elias lacks a little bit in CAD drawing type of curve creation. So I'm going to see if I can do this. Uh, if it's close, good. If not, I might have to do something else. But let's try this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a line perpendicular tool over here. I'm just going to go through the center like this. Uh, something over here. Now it's not going to be super accurate. So what I'm going to do is, and then I'm just going to extend it back so that I can get a center. So it does require a little mathematical understanding in ge uh, geometry, but well, let's see if I can do this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the center over here. And now let's strike a curve from here to here like this. And that should hopefully be tangent. So let's try that. I mean, it looks pretty close. Now it is a little bit off, but well, I don't think it's too bad. And I do think there's a lot of curve over here. So I'm going to do that too. Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a direct offset, but let's just make it that way. So I'm just going to grab these ones over here and I'm just going to offset over here like this. And let's just make it a little bit less, maybe 30, oh, not 30, a lot less than that, five. Just going to make sure the direction is good. I'm just going to do something like that. And at least looking at this one, I think it's supposed to be just cut off from the outside. Um, so yeah, uh, if you can see the shape over here, I think that's what's happening. So I'll just do that. So let's go back to Elias over here. And let's see if that works. Now the curve is over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a curve section tool. Now let's just make sure. Oh, um, for this one, actually that will help because that is supposedly a perfect circle. So let's do, uh, right now I do have rational flags on, so let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well, I could probably rotate it. Actually, you know what, for this one, let's just turn the ra rational flags off because that sometimes creates a little bit of mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn construction options off. Let's turn it off and let's try this again. All right. So circle, however, you got to be a little bit careful because sometimes it will, uh, because it is not a perfect circle. So you just have to watch out. Uh, so let's do this actually see if I can, I wonder if there's a segment. I'm going to make it into two. So let's try it again. 
that's going to be two segments over here. I'm just going to do the same thing over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this an object and rotate it. Actually that, uh, if I want to rotate it perfectly, I do have to measure the angle. So let's go ahead. Just going to make, measure the angle from here. It's 24.299. So I'm just going to rotate this. 24.299 like that and add a 90 so 114 and that should be perfect let's do the same thing over here so i'm just going to rotate it like this okay and let's just measure the angle first i'm just going to hide this for a second let's grab a curve i'm going to delete all the guidelines and let's go ahead and measure the angle again over here 3.138 so for this one pick it as an object all right so 93.138 like that and looks like that's a good fit too so i'm just going to go ahead and delete the curves over here and hopefully that worked okay so uh only way to find out is actually well, make the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab draft tool over here like that. And let's just extrude it out and see if it's actually tangent. Now it is not going to be curvature because it is on just a circle and a flat surface, which means it'll be tangent. So let's check it. I'm just going to say tangent. It is tangent and that's perfect. All right, so now let's actually move this uh, to the outboard side so that I can actually trim it. So I'm going to grab the whole thing, delete the construction history like that. I'm just going to pull it out over here. And I should have made it a little bit longer. So let's just go ahead and grab extend. Grab these ones over here. Like that, and that's good. And let's go ahead and trim. Oh, looks like the C was a little bit short, which is fine. So I have to make sure to lengthen it like that. And that looks good. Now, if you notice, however, there is a little bit slot over here. So I'm going to be doing that too. Now that's what I would, I think this one might be a little bit thicker on the inside. Um, you can do that, but for this exercise, I think I'm just going to leave it. So what I'm going to do is of course, I'll do a draft on this one and this one over here. I'm going to just make sure that that's a little bit longer like that. And let's just grab these two, delete, oh, delete the construction history and just pull it out like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do some trimming. Now there is a uh, surface uh, in the middle, so I'm going to do that first. So let's go ahead and offset this. Uh, instead of four mils, I'm just going to offset it two mils like that. Oh going the other side so I'm going to just put a minus over here and let's go ahead and do some trimming okay so I'm just going to trim it against this one and also this one like this so let's go ahead and trim this one over here um, the I actually I do need to intersect it against this one over here as well that's looking good. And now let's go ahead. So I think the outboard side is good. Now I got to do the same thing for this one. So I'm just going to grab these two. I'm going to intersect it over here and here. And I'm also going to trim it against this one and the back surface over here. So now it gets a little bit confusing because you're trying to trim all these sheets. So let's go one by one. I'm going to trim this one over here like that. That one over here. Oh, I, I do need the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this one over here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this region over here and this region over here. And I'm just going to say discard. Let's go ahead and keep this one. This one. Let's see. Oh, actually, let's trim this one first. So, so I'm going to say discard over here. So that's taken care of. And now, oh, okay, so now everything makes a little bit more sense. So discard that, keep that, and keep that. And that's done. All right. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the construction history over here. Like this. And let's just get rid of the COS because I don't no longer need them. Oh, actually. Oh, yes, I do need to, to trim this one. I'm going to say discard over here. That looks good. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now it's good. Delete the COS over here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And now let's go ahead and do a little bit of, I don't know what this is, but let's do that. I'm not gonna put the fillets in because that gets way too complicated, especially for Elias. So I'm just going to put the tab in and just call it done. All right, so uh, in order to do that, let's go ahead and make sure the location is good. So I'm just going to strike a curve over here like that. And let's go ahead and project over here. And let's just do extend or a draft tool. And let's go ahead and extend it back over here. Okay, so it looks like it's got a bit of an angle. So I'm just going to snap a curve over here and snap a curve over here like this. Maybe I might just make it a little bit longer because I think it does go all the way to the end. So let's make it a little bit longer. Now there is, well, I wouldn't say there's a fillet. So yeah, let's just make it go all the way to the end. Something like that. Uh, looks like there is a little bit of angle, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to make it flat. So let's go ahead and project it from top. That's good. And I'm going to, now I'm pretty sure this tab has a little draft, but um, I'm, to be honest, I don't know what the, vector is so i'm just going to leave it without a vector um, however i do need to offset so maybe like two mils for this one i do think it's a little bit thinner though um maybe a little bit thinner than that so maybe just one mil something like that and i think that's good and let's go ahead and connect the dots so free from blend over here here and here Right, uh, I still do need a fillet though, so I don't think I'm gonna do this one because the, I think fillet is supposed to be just minimal. However, I do need this uh, these ones over here, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to delete the construction history over here, put a fillet here. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good size, and do the same thing over here, and call it done. All right. So for this one, you can uh, you can project this, you can untrim, uh, but I, uh, for this one, I think it should be okay. It's nice and straight. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Project from Z. So trim here and trim here. Oh, didn't that project? Oh, well, if that's the case, you can always do this because they are exactly the same surface. You can just copy and paste and put it down over here. Now that's it, however, uh, it is going to be at a little bit different location. So you do need to uh, untrim it and reproject it or intersect. So we just have to do that. So let's go ahead and do this one over here. And this one, you can probably just leave as it is. So I'm just going to intersect over here. And, oops. Intersect this one over here. And let's go ahead and trim. So trim that, intersect over here, trim this one. Oh, the COS is a little bit short, so you just want to make sure that you extend, trim this one, trim that one. Now you see how it's uh, basically the COS is merging together. Sometimes that can cause a problem. So if it does uh, create a problem for you, you probably want to just untrim, delete all the COS and reproject it. But it looks like this time it's okay. All right, so now that's trimmed, uh, that's looking pretty good. All right, so there's one more thing that I have to do, which is, of course, it's asymmetrical, both sides, so I do have to put that feature in. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide these curves over here. I don't need them anymore. Oh, what was, oh, that was all for the curves, okay. So I'm just going to uh, delete the construction history over here. 
and let's go ahead and duplicate this one. Oh, actually, I probably want to grab, uh, want to grab it as an object, group it. I'm going to say duplicate mirror. And this one, I'm just going to make it flat like this and put a fillet over there. So let's go ahead and just hide and select it over here. And I actually don't need any of the services over here except for this one. Oops. Pick it as a sur surface. I'm going to deselect these ones. So, so all of those can be gone. And now let's go ahead and untrim. Actually, you know what? Let's untrim the outboard side. This one I can just offset it. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, so let me just untrim it like that. And let's grab this CYS over here. And I'm just going to reproject it. So let's grab this one. I'm going to project it from the side like that. Okay, and let's get rid of this one. And now I should be able to trim it like that. And that's good. All right, so this side, however, I think it's, oh, maybe maybe the fillet's way too big. No, that's a different one. I don't know why I keep going to that one. Oh, actually, you know what? That doesn't really show, does it? Um, however, I, do th I still do think that the fillet's a little bit, maybe the canvas was a little bit off, but that's okay. I'll just use this one. All right, that's it, however, I do need to make sure that this goes across. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to make some adjustments over here. So I'm going to say untrim. I'm just going to delete the CWS at the center. I'm going to trim this one. Let's delete this one. Okay, do that. And I'm just going to offset it. Four mils, same thing. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and reproject. Oh, uh, uh, okay, let's take a look. Okay, so it doesn't look like I need to reproject. So I'm just going to delete the construction history and let's go ahead and untrim. Actually, you know what? Let me just make this one first. Okay, so I'm just going to do a freeform, uh, freeform blend between these two edges and uh, we should be symmetrical. And now I'm just going to align over here to make it a single span, reduce. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, looks like it won't let me. Okay, so if that's the case, I'll just add a span. It still won't. All right, so if that's the case, I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, actually, you know what, let's do this. That's going to create a little bit of difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to, first of all, hide the curves, uh, make sure everything is grouped so that it's a little bit easier to pick. I'm going to say group. And I'm going to say visible to get the other side. And I'm just going to grab this one over here. I'm just going to duplicate it over like this, and I'm just going to fill this in with a different surface, unfortunately. All right, so let's just uh, reference, I'm going to, oh, sometimes this does uh, group things together if you're picking as an object when you duplicate it. So I'm just gonna copy and paste, copy, delete, paste, and that's going to just separate it. So I'm just going to make it visible again, hide it, and that's going to allow you to create a surface like this. So freeform blend again. Um, actually, if I maybe I should just do one side instead of doing both, since I'm. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Okay, so strike a curve over here. Project from the top. Trim. And I'm going to keep this though. But let's do a freeform blend between these two. Yeah, that's better. Let's see if it will align with a single span and it does. All right. However, you just want to make sure that it is actually symmetrical though. I mean, it should be, but you just want to make sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a surface continuity check. Yep. That's tangent. 
only because it's check the tangency it should but it should be curvature which it is so that's excellent all right so now the only thing i have to do is put a fillet over here so let's go ahead and put a fillet like this this one i'm going to make it a little bit larger because it does seem to be similar size all the way through and let's see yeah just looking at this i'm pretty sure it's a little bit bigger so I'll just put a random number in, uh, maybe something like 20. I think that's good. All right. So now let's go ahead and extend over here, extend over here. And for this one, I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, I'm just going to intersect over here like this. And hopefully that doesn't create, as you can see over here, that does sometimes create uh, creates issues, but as long as it trims nicely, it should be okay. But let's say you are trying to make this uh, into an SLA part and you got uh, we are running into some, some issues, you probably want to clean up the CUS. All right, so let's go ahead and delete the construction history over here. And let's just reproject all of these CUSs here and it should be done. Okay, so I'm just going to delete over here. And let's go ahead and project this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's looking good, and I'm going to say trim, and that's done. Delete the construction history over here, and that's looking nice. All right, so I'm just going to group this one over here. Let's pick this one over here, and let's see how you create the visor for the F1, well, Bell F1 helmet. Looking pretty good. All right, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.